Hi, I'm Ilana Africa Bredenkamp. A friend of mine uh, with really curly hair asked me the other day how to do a swill coast. Um, I also have to point out that she's not uh, uh, dark like me. She's a fair uh, complexion chicka. And she was like, listen, what do I do with this curly hair? Now, we gave her a few suggestions, but I said to her, the best solution is probably to use a swill coast. Now, this, the word swill or swill coast is the only word that exists. In fact, it's true to Cape Town. And I will show you how to do a swirl coast for now. The one thing you want to do with a swirl coast is you want to go to bed with it. So you do this at night. Also, a swirl coast doesn't do very well in the shower. So once you've swirled your hair, uh, you preferably want to take a bath or stay out of places that brings mist or even water towards you. That I see a swim cap me. So, okay, this is what you need. You need a pair of scissors. And then I remember as a kid when we used to swirl our hair, you used your mom's old stockings. So I found a pair. And this one has got only one leg because I've already used it for a swirl coast. Not that I want to admit this online. But what you want to do is this is the foot end. You want to cut a piece big enough to, well, long enough to do that. Okay. So you cut that piece and you want to make a knot at the foot end. So the one side is open and the one side is closed. The reason you want to make a knot is because you need to get your whole head in here. Okay. Then you open it a little bit to make sure that your whole head will fit into it. Okay, so you're eventually going to put your head in there. Now, you want a good old brush. So imagine you've washed your hair, you've now uh, blow dried it, and maybe you've GHD'd it, you've put your favorite product on it, and it's ready for bedtime. Okay, uh, this is how you get the swirl going. So imagine uh, a cake. Or a tart like normally you'd comb your hair with a middle pass right uh, you can start from the middle or you can start your cake you can cut it from this side so imagine the middle of your hair and you want to take a middle part and comb this over hey like a comb over for sure okay so here's our comb over you're gonna do a comb over keeping your hand at the top so you want to keep the hair as straight as possible because how you swirl it is how it's gonna stay and how it's gonna come out the next day <laughs> so you want to swirl it to be straight so that it's gonna be straight tomorrow that's if you prefer straight hair like my curly headed friend okay so you keep your hand at the top of the cake and then you want to brush the hair all around trying to keep your hand at the top so every time it pushes up you put your hand back again and you go round and round like a soft serve okay so you go round and round I can't believe I'm swirling my hair online yeah people are watching this they actually are in fact my husband's in the kitchen making me breakfast this morning he's gonna actually see me swirling my hair okay so now at the top it's flat okay and this part I've, I've kept straight so you want to keep it straight if it falls out you go back and you just swirl it again until it's nice and straight. Because remember, the way you swirl it is the way you're going to look tomorrow. Okay, so now I've got it nice and flat. Flat on the top, swirled on the side like a beehive, okay, around and around. And now you need to get this on top of your head without messing it up. The trick is to go right to the part where you knotted it, okay? and then you stick it over your head carefully and while you're halfway through you start twisting in the same direction that you combed it okay now you could pull it over your head or you could leave it there but this will make a mark and the next day people will go haha she swirled her hair you don't want to leave it there you want to take it back into the hairline so that it keeps all the hair nice and flat and that bubby is how you swirl your hair come come see quickly we must say hello to everybody then you can show them that it's okay <laughs> you can show them it's okay if your husband sees you with swirled hair say hello he well, got a he's got a blue eye he's got so a golf injury no, my blue eye in your bubby, how do i look at my swirl you look great thank you you can kiss the girl with the swirl coast. See, you can still get love if you have a swirl coast. And that's how you swirl your hair. Word. Oh, and then the next morning you take it out. Okay. Come it. Come it, dear. <laughs>